San Nicolas Island is located 65 miles off the coast of Southern California. It's owned wholly by the U.S. Navy and has been since 1933. San Nicolas Island is just a unique ecosystem. You have plants and animals found here, found nowhere else in the world. We have nesting seabirds on the island. We have a federally threatened island night lizard, an endemic deer mouse, and the state threatened island fox. And then we're also known for our abundance of marine mammals. We have tarver seals, sea lions, and elephant seals. And we're one of the largest populations in Southern California for elephant seals and California sea lions. Feral cats have been on San Nix Island since the early 1900s. And we know from analysis of their diet that they prey upon a variety of different species that live and breed on San Nicolas Island. Island ecosystems are very sensitive and unique. And when you have a non-native predator introduced like the feral cat, it can really disrupt the ecosystem. The Montreal Settlements Restoration Program really felt this was a great opportunity for the for the program to use their funds um, to really have a significant impact on the restoration of San Nicolas Island and have huge benefits for those seabird populations that we were targeting. One of the key elements of the program was to make sure that in our effort to remove cats from the island, we didn't impact foxes in a way that would affect their population. The foxes and the cats are very similar in their habits, and so anything, any way that you might capture a cat, you'd also be capturing a fox. And typically in feral cat eradication programs, you have a combination of, of different methods, including the use of toxicants. That, that was not an option for this project, given the, the island fox. We put our heads together, we came together with a solution that everyone was comfortable with, that we knew was going to be successful, but also met the needs and desires of the Navy, of the Humane Society of the United States, of the Montreal Settlements Restoration Program, which were funding this. So one of the things we did is use a trap that was sort of marginal for catching the cats, but would ensure that there was a much less chance of injuring the foxes. We didn't expect the cats would be injured at all. The fox is a little different story. They have much more fragile bones and things, and so we set up an entire hospital here on the island, and it was everything you would find in an animal hospital on the mainland. And the main reason for doing it here was we didn't want to expose the foxes to any diseases that they might get if they were transferred to the mainland and then have to be brought back to the island again. It's really a challenging environment to capture the cats. You have a lot of vegetation, uh, you have steep topography and hillsides that's difficult to capture cats. Uh, so it really presents a challenge when you're at low levels of cats on an island like this. There's a lot of effort that goes into finding where to put the trap. You have to hike up and down every single ravine and decide that, boom, this is it, this is the spot. So I'm putting these last stepping stones in just to kind of guide the cat to step that half inch to the left. This is looking pretty good to me right here. The other thing that we did was to put a monitoring system on each of the traps so that as soon as it went off, regardless of what you caught, whether a cat or a fox, you could be notified and respond immediately. When the trap is sprung, the magnet gets pulled out and within an hour we were at every single every single trap. One of the things we did when the uh, uh, feral cats were captured was we also wanted to make sure that they were in good health because we were going to be holding them for a while before they were transferred to the mainland, to the Humane Society. As they would catch the cats and process them here on the island, then we would make arrangements to have them flown into Ramona. The Humane Society United States just unloaded seven additional cats from San Nicolas Island who are now going to be transported to their permanent home at our Ramona Sanctuary. So it's a good day for the cats. When they came in to us, they were very feral, wild cats that couldn't be touched. And now the cats, over the past couple of years, have 
been accustomed to humans and are becoming more friendly every day. The last cats were obviously the most difficult to trap because they would have different behaviors. They like to hang out in oddball zones and it, that's what makes them more difficult to capture. After we detected the last two cats in June of 2010, we were feeling pretty good about the project and that we had, we were done. But it was really with all the intensive monitoring month after month after month. That's when we really started to get excited that I think we're done. I think we've, we've got them all. These are our trail cameras and we have them in locations across the island where we trapped cats previously. They were a really important tool during the project and we'll continue to use them for the long term. And between June of 2010 and December of 2011, we had over 27,000 camera trap nights with zero cat detection. We're proud, we feel confident that we got every last cat and that the, the ecosystem will be better for it. It is the largest island in the United States to be done. It's the largest island in the world ever to be done without the consideration of toxicants. There are islands all over the world that this restoration effort or something similar to it is extremely valuable. And for ourselves, our kids, our grandchildren to come out and have the opportunity to see these species is, is of great value. We're gonna place our fur finder and we're ready to arm the camera. Now we're ready to go, walk away and let it do its job. In the end, it was the commitment of all the partners that made this work. We're very grateful to have had this opportunity. It's very important for us that this was completed. I think the future for St. Nicholas Island is, is really bright and um, we're really excited to see, start seeing signs of recovery. The Navy are here in a strong presence, so we felt confident that they will continue to um, be good stewards of the island and to ensure that any kind of introduced predators are not brought back to the islands.